better every day. And, and you know, they truly have at this point. They're just getting better and, and better, and, th and that's all we can ever ask them. If they keep improving and working hard, working the way they're working, we'll, we'll be happy with them. You see the competition level's been pretty good with all the spots that are open up? Yeah, I think, you know, there's there's guys that want to play. I mean, it, it's obvious. You know, young players are trying to get in and, and step up, and, and which is making the older guys even better. When you look at kind of the hand where do you really want to improve? I mean, what are the biggest things you say? We got to get this better. We got to get that. Better. I always said day one, fundamentally, get them fundamentally sound, where they can uh, be able to function, and uh, you know, in the basic things. And then as we as we conquer those, we'll we'll expand, and uh, and they're doing that. They're getting better every day. What kind of feel do you get in terms of feedback response from these guys? Because I mean, that's their first real extended, you know, time with you now, and you'll have a little time off. Yeah, well, you know what? I mean, if they're, you know, if they're not fired up, then they don't have a heart. I mean, you know what I mean? They better be fired up. I mean, it's, it's a, you know, we in the trenches, we're fighting in a phone booth every day, and, and if you don't love that, then, then, uh, you know, maybe it's time to move on. But I think every one of them loves it. I think the, the little, the crazy guys starting to come out of them all, and we haven't even started yet. You know, we're just getting warmed up. You know, so we got a long ways to go. We got a great old line here that's giving us uh, fits every day, and, and that's what we want. These guys have talked about, you know, the passion that you bring to this position. Mm -hmm. Is it is it rejuvenating for you just when you get a fresh start at a new place? And that it, I mean, I imagine that's got to carry over into spring even more than than for some. You know, I, I mean, it's football, and if you don't love it, then you know you're in the wrong business. And I think these guys, you know, the, the guys in our defensive line, I think they love the game. I think they, you know, they, they're playing for each other, and, and uh, you know, I think they realize that this is bigger than themselves. And the guys that played before us are guys that they're trying to honor, and, and uh, I'm proud of them because they're, they're getting better. I mean, and who can complain that we could continue to grow uh, every day? Greg McMullen's played a lot of snaps here. What do you like just about him and the versatility he brings? Uh, I mean, he's he's huge. I mean, that's, you know, a big man like that, 6'5", 315 pounds. I mean, that could be an anchor of a front. And, and uh, you know, he's you know he's getting dialed in, and, and he's like the rest of them. He's trying to get better every day. And, and uh, you know, you get one senior year, for the most part, you know, unless you have some traumatic thing happen. So uh, I think he realizes that, and, and uh, he's trying to get himself uh, prepared for, uh, you know, this the Big Ten schedule. For you, have you been able to settle in a little bit now? I mean, it's been kind of 100 miles an hour for you to show up. And, and you know, get... I wouldn't know it any other way. You know what I mean? You know, you know, and that, I love it that way. You know, it's it's great here. We just you know get it up, you know, do our part. You know, up in a, the hold our part of the deal, which get this group better and better and better to the point where they can be uh, you know a great group, and they're on their way. How many of your former teammates have tried to reconnect with you just in the last two weeks? Yeah, in the last two days. You know, it's awesome. You know, love those guys, every one of them, and uh, it's great to uh, to connect with them and and, uh, and you know be proud of this place. You know, it's it's uh, it's continuing to get better and better. I mean, you, I don't care if you played here or you're a fan. This place is uh, getting better every day. I know you're only. I keep saying that over and over and over. Get better every day. I feel like it. I know you're only five practices in, but mm -hmm. what are your early impressions of some of your DNs? Uh, you know, the biggest thing was was to get them to understand the, the concepts of how we pass rush. And you know, some of them had uh, you know days today. They, you know, today was a couple of them were the best day they've ever had. So I mean, that's you know, as a coach, that's all you can ask. And and, I'm, and truly, I keep saying it over and over. But for me, as long as we're getting better, I'm a happy guy. And, and uh, when they're not, and we got to hit the gas pedal hard on them, we will. But at this point, we we continue to get better. And you know, we've got a good offensive line here that, that's given us fits, and and and, uh, and that's a tremendous competition. And that's that's what you need as alignment especially when you're young and just learning this thing you need great players to hammer on you every day you got freedom and ross kind of starting with the top group are there some guys kind of pushing them you know we got younger players that are that are you know trying to uh, you know, trying to you know get through. You know, yeah. you know, Cedric's trying to get through. You know, some of the younger guys are, are, are working themselves. You know, the two guys that are, you know, that are, uh, you know, that are continuing to develop as well are, are the twins. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, every day they're getting better. The whole group is. I mean, they're fighting to try to get themselves to be game ready. You, you know, for them, I know you weren't here last year, but when you see guys that come off a redshirt season, mm -hmm. and and the strides that you can make, is that something that you? encourage guys in, in your position group to do at all if you know if the depth is there that they don't need you know no one I mean I you know no one really wants a red shirt but I think it's a deal where you grow physically and mentally and and, uh, and it really helps in your development and, and, and those two you know I think it'll pay dividends especially as we get going down the road
Are they strictly D tackles, or could Khalil or Carlos play on the edge even when we look at that? Right you now? know, right now, let's get them to play uh, inside. Get them to understand that and how to play it, and you know the you know the concepts and what we have going on here. And, and uh, eventually, the light will turn on, and, and I think you'll see two pretty good special players. You know, I mean, you know, right now we're, it's a blessing to have Kevin Marie here, who's you know a senior that's that's uh, having a good camp, and, and he's you know he's almost there where uh, you know he can take a big step and and, uh, and and hopefully have a great year. You've gotten to learn from a lot of defensive coaches in your career. Mm -hmm. When you worked with Coach Banker, you know, in San Diego, mm -hmm. played under him, what did you learn from him about playing defense? Uh, I still learn from him. I mean, he, you know, come on, still learn from him. I mean, his, his defense, what we run here is, is uh, the schemes and things are awesome. And, and I think all the coaches learn something from it, from him and in terms of, term, you, know, uh, you know, technique, scheme, whatever it may be. Uh, there's a reason why he's a coordinator.